हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर टीना थॉमस ऑब्सिटेशन एंड गायनाकोलॉजिस्ट मदरहुड क्रेडल अपोलो टेलीराइड एंड विम्स Mild bleeding during regular cycles means that the bleeding is less. We expect around 80 ml of blood loss during each period. When it is lesser than that, that is when it is called oligomenorrhea. So uh, the causes of oligomenorrhea can be a simple hormonal imbalance or uh, can be polycystic ovaries, can be hyperthyroidism or thyrotoxicosis, use of other drugs or antibiotics or radioactive drugs. anything so drug use iatrogenic it can be so these are the things or other any infections there can be sinicia yes, that is there are some growths or anything can be the cause of it uh, these are the things need not always be treated so oligomenorrhea uh, due to poly polycystic ovaries or hyperthyroidism such things when you control the thyroid the basic cause needs to be eliminated you do not treat oligomenorrhea as such so there is no need to give hormones to increase the bleeding for the next cycle it doesn't matter but you treat the basic cause so if it is a thyrotoxicosis or hyperthyroidism that means the there is increase in thyroid hormones correct it if there is polycystic ovaries counsel the patient patient needs lot of counseling on diet exercise if it is overweight decrease the weight hormonal correction for other hormonal imbalances so basically other causes of oligomenorrhea can be pituitary adenoma any small lump or growth in the pituitary it dysregulates the hormone the ovulation hormone so all these can be the cause so basically you treat the primary cause of oligomenorrhea if there is no primary cause and it is just a mild hormonal imbalance which would have happened this cycle nothing to be done probably it would settle down in 2 to 3 months if it is not settling probably find out the primary cause and treat